Welcome to episode 27 of the Lightning Round. I'm Lightning, wishing you all a very happy Hearthstone Eve and Doomsday. And Doomsday, yes, Hearthstone Eve and Doomsday mix so well together, and I am the snazzy and spectacular AR, laying back in bed with a guitar pick in his hands. Why? I found it. Awesome. I should go pick up my guitar and start playing. But I'm so not going to. So start off this week, we got some announcements. First of all, we do. Um, on Across an Arrow, Chapter 1 has been completely finished. Um, and that's put up on my channel. You can find that in Don't the watch uh, it. voice fanfic reading um, playlist as well. Um, and also, if you take a look at the channel, you can see that Muffin Loving Productions has been added. That is AR's channel. I actually have <clears> a different <throat> channel, but okay. And uh, they focus more on uh, video game uh, playthroughs, uh, pony game playthroughs, I should say. Mm-hmm. And uh, they've got a couple episode reviews on their channel as well. And a couple episode read-throughs, which we don't suggest you to watch because you'll be scarred for life. Yes. And the 22-minute we... episodes that turn into 47-minute readings. Exactly. That's why in each and all of the episodes we do and anything we do on Muffin Lone Productions, we always feel sorry for each and every one of you for watching. But people come back for more every single time, don't they? Yes, they do. It just, which scares us, really. <clears throat> so, um, why don't we head into the our our episode review over here on <clears throat> this channel? Woo! Um, this week we've got Wonderbolt Academy, a Woo! Rainbow Dash episode. So, basic synopsis: Rainbow Dash has received a letter, which they were impatiently waiting for. In the beginning, Pinkie Pie went to manic, Pinkie Manic, in a sense. So, hmm. anywho, um, Rainbow Dash gets a letter to go to the Wonderbolt Academy. She goes there. There's a lot of training, drill sergeant stuff, and Spitfire has a new voice, but it's actually rumored to be the same voice actress. It's not even rumored anymore. We'll get into that, but that's but, but it's the yes. same voice actor. So, a lot of drill stuff goes on. Rainbow Dash is doing awesome and amazing, as well as her new friend, Lightning Dust. So, the two continue to excel in the Academy, and, the, and soon they are split into teams. Where they do some teamwork stuff. You have Lead Pony and Wing Pony. Rainbow Dash has ended up being a Wing Pony because she doesn't push herself enough like Lightning Dust does, according to Spitfire. Afterwards, Light- Rainbow Dash is... Mm, I'm trying to think of the word that starts with a D. Dissatisfied. That works. With her position of being a Wing Pony. Complains a bit. Spitfire says you don't push yourself enough. That's where that came in. Moves on to Cloud Busting, where basically ponies go around kicking clouds and destroying them. And they're doing exceptionally well. Well, no, they're doing amazingly well, Rainbow Dash and her partner. And then her partner, Lightning Dust, gets an idea. Let us make a twister. Well, she doesn't say that. But she asks, are you up for something insane, for the most part? Rainbow Dash thinks about it. And because she didn't think, push herself enough, she says, sure. They create a giant twister. In the meantime, um, in a magical blimp floating towards the sky, you see Twilight Sparkle and friends flying, floating through the sky towards the Wonderbolt Academy, and the theme song in the background playing "My Little Pony, My Little Pony." No, I don't think so. And then a twister comes out of nowhere. Rapplejack yells, "Twister!" It's a which twister. Which is highly stereotypical. Yeah, I think that's a reference to the movie Twister, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it is. Or no, no, sorry, that's that's a Wizard of Oz reference. Never mind. Yes, it is. <clears throat> I'm just agreeing with you on stuff. So, after said twister goes ahead and destroys the blimp, Rainbow Dash reacts quickly and says, <laughs> and flies after her friends in a dash. That was terrible. No, no, that was good. I like that one. Okay, so, after rescuing her friends by using some magical cloudness, which I don't comprehend, but I believe it's... We'll, we'll go over it. It's science interesting. At the, at the very least. So, flings her friends into the air. They are caught by Pegasi, including Fluttershy, who forgot she could fly. Yeah, I, okay, here's the thing. When they're falling, I'm just going to put this out there. Twilight and Fluttershy have no reason to be scared. Fluttershy can fly. And or Pinkie Pie. Twilight She's can Pinkie obviously Pie. do some kind of magic to make her float or teleport or whatnot. Fluttershy can fly. And Pinkie Pie's Pinkie Pie. She'll survive any kind of fall and just bounce back like cotton right. candy. Cotton candy does bounce. Gum bounces. No, wait, nope. Anyways, 
bouncy ball bounces. Yes. So they are rescued. They are heroically saved. But Rainbow Dash is now furious at her new friend or her said friend, Lightning Dust, and yells at her for a little bit. Goes to complain to Spitfire about what Lightning Dust has done by using a twister to destroy Cloud. Spit over dramatic, but it's an Academy record. Spitfires, please. But Rainbow Dash complains that it nearly destroyed her friends. And I'm surprised she didn't say killed, but it is a show for little girls. So, after said thing, she says, I quit. Puts her badge on the floor, the floor yes, desk, yes. desk, and bolts out the door. I'm using a lot of speed references sort of thing. And then she's a bit upset, and she's about to prepare to leave. Well, I love my grammar there. When Spitfire and two other officer guards who have no names or lines or voices come from behind and they are like silent. So, afterwards, Spitfire complained. We're having some inner trouble with lightning a second, but he will be back in a moment. So, welcome back. And so you have Spitfire come up to Rainbow Dash say, How dare you exit my office without letting me, like, giving me a chance to respond? Explains that we are looking for the best, but we don't want Reckless. And his internet died again. Which basically, she is allowed back into the academy. And, um, what's her face? Lightning Dust is demoted. And I believe she is actually sent away in the academy. One or the other. Anywho, that's pretty much the end of the episode. Oh, and Lightning, the second is having, or Lightning is having more in our trouble. So... Overall, for me, are you back? No, he's not back yet. All right. So overall, for me, this episode personally, it is a very well done episode. One of my favorites in this new season. Are you back yet? I don't think he's back yet. No, he's not back yet. Okay. So, and the reason for it being one of my favorites in the season. Are you back yet? He's not back yet. So, for this being one of my uh, favorite new episodes in the season, is because of the story. It's very well done. You have some comical moments with Pinkie Pie. However, the top her, her, her character is gone now. Um, but the story to it is done very well, in my opinion. Are you back yet? No, he's not back yet. And, and see, I'm asking that because of Skype, which you can't see. I, I wish I could, like, video screen share and such, but oh well. Yeah, there he goes again. Okay. Um, reason I like the story. Let's see. You have lots of character. Oh, the call ended. You have lots of uh, character development in the whole of the story. He's calling me right now. Welcome back. I can't. He's having more inner troubles already. <laughs> All right. But uh, with Rainbow Dash, you have her over cockiness as usual. And are you back yet? Nope. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting commentary. But you have your overcocking as usual. But as it progresses along, you have, um, you know, her. You, you start to realize, compared to some other ponies, she doesn't push herself as much as they do and such like that. Are you back yet? No, he's not. Okay. You expect to hear another, like, dunk, 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 dunk from, like, Skype. And then get, like, a little beat box thing out of it. Are you back yet? No, he's not. <laughs> See, there it is. I told you. I'm just going to keep on recording. But, yeah. I, I lost my train of thought now. So, like I said, this is one of my more favorite episodes of this season. Good story. You have good characters. I personally do like Lightning Dust. For a one-shot antagonist, very well done. Very similar to Rainbow Dash personality, which is why I like her also. But... The way they portrayed her personality involving it being an antagonist to Rainbow Dash. Because you have two of basically the same personalities that are now clashing. And how that... They, they, they did that very well. And so... I'm going to call him again. But, um... Yeah. Hello again. Hello? Nope, internet troubles. Oh, there you go. Hello. Hello? Hello! I believe we're having more internet troubles now. Yep, there he goes. Okay, so he was able to say hello. At least you heard his voice again. Um, oh, welcome back. He's not there. Okay, so... Um... Don't get this. Oh, there you are. Hello. 
Hello. Oh my god. He said Vertonculus and left. Well, what is this? Oh, welcome back. And there he went. Alright, it seems his internet's having trouble. Um, more facts about the episode from me. Let me think here. Um, are you back now? He's not back yet. So, let's see. Um, actually, are you there? Hello? No. <laughs> just, just, just do that to me, Skype. How dare you? Alright. Now, no, this call was not good, Skype. Shut up. So, um, I, like I said, I like that personality clash of the same personalities. You don't see that all the time. You do see it. I mean, there's, uh, there are shows where you do see it, but you don't see it all the time. Um, but overall, I did like the stereotype with Applejack saying, it's a twister. I just found that funny, in my opinion. I thought it. You know, I, I don't know why. I didn't expect the twister part, but when Applejack said, It's a twister! I just somehow knew I, I, I can't they were going to use you. Applejack to announce it. Are you back now? Aww. But I just like how they use Applejack to announce it. I, I, it's just over-stereotyped, and it's just hilarious. In a sense, it's not over-stereotyped, but stereotyped. Are you back now? I don't think so. Uh, I, I should stop asking that. Like, keep like keep a counter on the comments or something like that by how many times I asked, Are you back now? Are you back now? And those two did count. And there goes the internet again. It's not my internet, it's his internet. But I'm recording it, so you can still hear me. Now, another thing is, um, where was I? First off, the giant platform in the middle there of the... Are. Of nowhere, just... Oh, Hello. Yeah. Um, I hope okay. you weren't continuing because we're gonna have to redo that. that. Was. It was yeah. just way too long of a. It was way too long of a break. I'm gonna have. Let's just. But but there's no quietness. I kept talking. I gave all of my personal views on the episode, and I was still in the middle of it because I went through the episode, finished up the review, uh, the synopsis, and then I went into talking about what I talked about about the episode, what I liked, and I was going to go into a bit of some randomness and what I disliked. Well, you can listen to the recording afterwards. I still think you do should it this be fine. way. Let's, Plus, I told them let, they can keep a. I, I told them they can keep a. Um, are you there? Are you there now? Counter on the um, um, the in the comments. <laughs> oh God. But um, yeah, it, it's entertaining dialogue. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and give all your thoughts on the episode then, since you're here now. Well, um, I, I I really. I really enjoyed the episode. This was probably my favorite episode. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite of the entire series, but definitely of the season. Any particular reason? Um, it's a Rainbow Dash episode. What can I say? I, I love Rainbow Dash, and, and Spitfire is in it. Spitfire is best pony. And um, mm -hmm. Spitfire is awesome in this episode. Absolutely one of the best parts of it. And, you know, there's a little bit of, of continuity. I'm glad that they have the a lot of uh, throwback to um, uh, Hurricane Fluttershy. You know, you got the the right the right yeah! you got raindrops, His thunder lane, Snowflake, I believe. cloud chaser. Um, yeah, I mean, there's and a couple, a couple of new ones. ones yeah, too. I'm not sure who the pink pony with the with the uh, blonde mane is though. And I'm not sure who the white pony with the black mane. Yeah, is. the yeah. But anywho, um, let's see what was I talking about? Stereotypes with Applejack. But also, let's go over the voice thing with Spitfire because it is rumored. Uh, is it rumored or is it fact now that same it was voice the same actor. voice actor? Uh, according to Equestria Daily, um, it says that the voice actor here. Let me find it. The voice actor that played um, Spitfire in this episode. Uh, was uh, all right. 
The voice actor yes. that played uh, Sweet Fire in this episode was Kelly Metzger. And um, she said that uh, she's also the same one that does Best Night Ever, Sonic Rain Boom, Hurricane, and, and Hurricane Fluttershy. Mm-hmm. And uh, so... Interesting. Wait, hold on. That wasn't even the... Newer, the newer post was the new, the new one. The new post, the new, new, new post that actually explained it more. So while he looks for that, oh yeah, gonna, uh, it, it says that it says that no. Kelly Metzger oh, okay. voiced her in Hurricane Fluttershy, Best Night Ever, and Wonderbolt Academy, and Nicole Oliver was the one to do it in Sonic Rain Boom. And uh, so. Oh. Right now, it says Kelly is the official VA from here on out, assuming that there's more Spitfire in the future. Well, I'm assuming there is more because they kept her for here on out. So, and it, this, but, was, this um, was Jason Thiessen that came out and said yes. that it was Nicole Oliver in episode 16. Um, it, and uh, it, it's funny because. He even mentioned that in um, Sonic Rain Boom, it was actually um, – she, she was called Wonderbolt Leader. She wasn't even called Spitfire at that point in time. Ah, I remember reading about that, yeah. But anywho, let's continue on with our opinions in the episode. Uh, Pinkie Pie, I believe, was I'm not, over the top uh, of the see, there's, but there's people that say that. Pinkie I – for one, don't necessarily agree that she's over the top. She um, was overreacting as usual. I mean, that's kind of her usual character. Uh, she, she seems to be a little bit um, over-anxious if her friends leave for long periods of time. And yeah, she's like so, that. I mean, the, the whole idea with her... Standing by the mailbox for three days straight. Um, yeah, that seems like Pinkie Pie. I, I personally like when she opens the box. Huh? Oh, huh? Oh, sort of thing. And that was like happy, <laughs> sad, happy, sad. Yes. Open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. I, I don't think. So. I don't that was a I reference kind of to that. Because she open, happy, sad, shut. So okay. Any, anyway, I love tw- uh, Rainbow Dash at the beginning of the episode where she trolls everyone, saying like, "Yeah, hey, I, I didn't get in." And then she like, "Ha, gotcha." I I, I like the um. What was it? I found a uh, I the alternate, alternate ending, ending on yet. YouTube. What is it? Well, not about? the alternate ending. Well, oh, you haven't read it. It's basically you read about it. But um, anywho, on YouTube, I found an alternate ending clip. And it said alternate ending. I'm like, okay, clicked it, watched it. And when Rainbow Dash, I didn't get in. <laughs> did, 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 did my little pony. Oh. I to- yeah, and, the end, and the end thing came up. But um, oh. I found it funny. Anywho, the actual alternate ending was basically Rainbow Dash leaving the Wonderbolt Academy for good. And Lightning mm-hmm. Dust just actually being demoted. Uh, that was pretty much the alternate ending. And personally, it would have been interesting to see. Is it better than the ending we got? Not necessarily. Both endings for the episode are well done. I mean, uh, this one, you still have Rainbow Dash living out her dream with a lot of people wanted to see her well, actually get involved with the Wonderbolts. In I'm not way. sure exactly what this, what and, this uh, yeah. academy means. You know, it's like, obviously... She impressed Spitfire. It's pretty obvious to see that she impressed Spitfire. Does this is this like one step closer to being a Wonderbolt? Is she like automatically a Wonderbolt after passing this? Yeah, I mean, it is. You know, they, what they, exactly? What exactly did this Academy the, um, prove? What does it do? Well, the Wonderbolt Academy is more for training for being a well, Wonderbolt. Well, if, if like, she's who, training to be a Wonderbolt, really does that mean is. she is one after this? Um, it depends. You have to, I'm pretty sure there's graduation regulations, stuff like that. Like in boot camp, there are certain things that are required for you to continue to become a soldier. Um, medical stuff and all kinds of other crap. But, anywho, this is, this is Pony World, not Military World. And, um, 
along with that, I assume there's going to be some sort of graduation sort of thing to this. You do need to have the requirement. I mean, uh, Lightning Dust was sent away from the Academy for yeah, the actions just, she just did. Tra- they sent her away. Yeah. So you can't... Yeah, discharge. You can be discharged from this Academy. I'm certain of that. But uh, what will happen with the rest of this Academy? We aren't sure. But from what I... Personally, this is not all the opinions in the world. My opinions is this is more along the lines of boot camp in a sense. Um, let's see. Also with the episode, let's see. What was there? I, I uh, Like um, Lightning said, I did like the bring back of Roid Rage as we call him. Yeah, or Snowflake, Snowflake is I believe is pretty his much name now. more or less what the fans have come up with definitively. Yeah! Still no Derpy. I yeah. was really hoping to see Derpy you know, somewhere well, in the background. Well, you did this. see that she is in every single episode because she's uh, she's in the um, opening, the, the theme song. Oh, she still is. In she the pokes theme her song. head yeah, out of the train apparently. So she technically. So so yeah, yeah she does. She I is in every episode every if you time. if you count that. But um, she is in the Magic Jewel actually. She's actually in Magic Duel. Uh, you can actually see her face, but mm. only one side of it, so you don't know if her eyes are derped. She is in uh, the back of her pies. head. I saw her there, which I don't know. She if that was really in. Counts. Well, yeah, but you still see her. Anywho, uh, back to episode seven. So I would have liked that because of this. You're in a Pegasus environment. I would kind of would like to see that. I did like the bring back of her uh, flood, uh, Fluttershy, Twilight's blimp, which I, I really Twilight. want to know some backstory to. I mean, because I've, I've heard a lot it of places is. that say it's Pinkies as well, but... I just want some backstory on it, personally. I mean, the only reason they have the blimp really in the series is because well, of and it's the also toy, in the theme because Hasbro asked so. them to put it in there. Yeah, and I mean, and they, so, and it I mean, they, they use it, it, you know, several times. They, the Discord episode, uh, more notably, um, the Running of the Leaves episode. I mean, they they do use it. I mean, it's it's not like the, they have it in the theme song and then yeah, nowhere else. But yeah, but um, they yeah. also have it in Sonic. Pretty much any any episode, uh, any episode that involves but personally, Cloudsdale or yeah. any kind of flying, they have to have it. Yeah, yep. for the most part, if they want to use all of the main six. But um, just just like I said, I'd like to see some backstory to that thing. Um, moving on, we let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, what were they going with this? They went to Blimp. Well, Jack, okay, here's Blimp, here's one thing that I wanted to talk about, and it, it's Lightning Dust's behavior. More or less, I agree with um. With, with uh, with with Spitfire on a lot of this, I, you know, here's the thing. At first, she makes Lightning Dust lead pony and makes Rainbow Dash a uh, wing pony because she says that Lightning Dust likes to push herself a little bit harder. If you if you look through the entire episode and and have that in mind, she does have a more uh, you know pushing. Um, behavior. I, I don't think she overdoes it until the twister. That's pretty much the only thing that I saw where she oversteps her boundaries. Because the whole thing with her, um, yeah. uh, at one point spinning out pretty much the rest of the the cadets or whatever. Um, it, it first of all, she should have been able to pass them without going through them. But at the same time. <laughs> It's a wind tunnel they're in. The they can't time, pass them. Um, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. If they're faster, they should be able to pass them, and it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And she even says that Wonder Bolts are supposed yeah. to be able to recover from a spin themselves. Um, so, I mean, it might yep. be kind of a, a you know, a, a, a disrespectful thing to do. Jerky but move. at the same time, it's not... Yeah. Not really reckless, as Rainbow Dash would put it. Um, and and Rainbow Dash, the fact that she actually said, you know, that was kind of a dick move. You shouldn't have done that. Um, 
it's actually kind of something that I would expect Rainbow Dash to do. You know, um, yeah, and like I um, I mentioned this when you were having the internet troubles, was the personalities of Lightning Dust and Rainbow Dash are practically the same. And that was the reason I liked this episode as well, because the antagonists of the episode had basically the same personality as Rainbow Dash. And you had two very similar personalities um, clashing. And, um, and, and so when Spitfire was discussing this with Rainbow Dash and was saying, you know, it's she she wanted them to both be on a team because they were going to be unstoppable together. One of them's got to be lead and one of them's got to be wing. That's just how it is. And the the and so mm-hmm. you got to look at what was going on. First of all, lightning dust on the rotator. I'm not even sure what they called it. What was the was the, the spinny thing? The Dizitron, okay. On the Dizitron, Dizitron 5000. Just- she not only put it to full speed, but was only 0.5 seconds behind Rainbow Dash's recovery time. When you think about it, if she had not put it up to full speed, she probably would have beaten Rainbow Dash's time. <clears throat> so, more than likely. Um, and, and of course, uh, when they're doing the, the flag hunt or whatever, she is flying a little bit faster than Rainbow Dash, and um, Rainbow Dash is actually having a hard time keeping up. She does seem to be a little bit more... Yep. Fa- she, she does seem to be a little bit better flyer than Rainbow faster. Dash in this episode. Um, and, and so I agree with Spitfire's mm-hmm. decision to make her lead pony as opposed to wing pony. Um, and, and so it, it's... It, it's not necessarily a she, rain, or lightning bolt or sorry lightning dust is not a bad uh, character you know she's 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 an antagonist because she's the no. main uh, conflict in the episode but she's not necessarily a bad pony exactly but that's also yeah. I never did say that, but that is um, that is the reason I like her, though, is her personality and similarness to Rainbow Dash. And it makes for a good antagonist, in my opinion, also. and one, A very well-done antagonist, also, because I would like to see her make a comeback. Uh, and personally, this gives her an opportunity Not for that, for, in a sense, it, you maybe know, they, revenge they, on they, Rainbow they Dash. They did that with, or, um, with Trixie and made it a revenge. revenge episode with Twilight. I would like to see Trixie. maybe a little bit more redemption for Lightning Dust. Come back and prove that she can that do too. all this stuff without being reckless. Uh-huh. But, um... Let's see, what else was there? Ah, let's go towards the end where the Twister rips the balloon apart. Completely unexpected on my part. I saw the Twister, I'm like, okay. And I saw the blimp, I'm like, okay. I didn't really think it hit the balloon. I thought it would just, like, fly past it. Then it hit the balloon. I'm like, interesting. But before that, when Applejack said, it's the Twister, I just knew she, of all the ponies on that blimp, would point that out. I don't know why. I just knew Applejack was the one going to point that out. It's funny to me. It's a twister. They get hit by the twister. Rainbow Dash reacts, flies down. Thankfully, the hole she flies down has an <laughs> exit point. Yeah. Otherwise, that would have been kind of comical that she flies into a wall. But when she what she does with the cloud, super dense clouds. It's interesting, I think, because it makes me want. Yeah. But what she does is she condenses the cloud into. A more solid in a sense because clouds are mostly water, and by condensing it like that, perhaps she saved them because of the speech she's going at. But perhaps Twilight used a cloud thingy of a jiggy magic power spell. To, well, um, I don't think be Twilight able to walk on clouds again. I don't think Twilight did a cloud walking spell. Um, I guess that would. You never know. Well, if she did that, then Rainbow Dash wouldn't need to make it super dense then, like she did. I suppose. Rainbow Dash wouldn't know. It is. 
Anywho, screw physics. This is the world. Now of here's ponies. the thing. I want to talk about one thing you that me. I felt was um really um very uh what's the word I'm looking for um it was a big deal. It was a big deal, and I think that they it depends. Well, that wasn't the word I was thinking. It took of. you I can't that long to the, think of big word. deal. Um, that, Sorry, <laughs> but but um, no, Eventful, no, it was, it was memorable, mentionable, it was, thinkable. But but it, but it was a big deal, and and uh, the uh, problem emotional is that at the very end you have Rainbow Dash saying "I quit." When you, I mean, when you think about it. Yes. The yeah. first thing, when, when, when Twilight first meets Rainbow Dash, what's one of the things she talks about? Becoming a Wonderbolt. It has been her lifetime goal. Uh, yep. And all of a sudden, you get to this episode, she does a little bit of training and, and sees the way some other ponies act and how they're getting rewarded for it. And all of a sudden, she's like, if that's what being a Wonderbolt is all about, I don't want any part of it. And it's 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 really big to mm -hmm. think that Rainbow Dash spends all this time practicing, doing tricks and stuff for the sole purpose of becoming a Wonderbolt, and then gets to that point and just says, "I quit." If Spitfire had not gone after her, yep, that entire storyline, that entire plot point that has been throughout the entire series season 1 and season 2 would have just been gone. Exactly. But also, if that had happened because that was the alternate ending to the series, to this episode that was the alternate ending where Rainbow Dash doesn't come back to the Academy and Lightning does it just demoted, which I had stated earlier. But a reason I would have liked that is you create you create a whole new story for this character. Rainbow Dash doesn't have this whole um, dream she's after anymore. If this had, if she had not been brought back, basically by Spitfire convincing her, talking. But if that had happened, I would have loved to see what kind of new story they bring up for Rainbow Dash because her entire life goal is gone. You have to create a whole new story for this character. I would have loved to have seen where the writers would have taken that personally. And I just think that would have made it for a very interesting ending. Which, uh, like I said, for the alternate ending of this episode, I would have been fine with either or. I'm a bit more towards the other one because, like I said, uh, for the alternate ending, you create a whole new story for this character and completely change a lot of things for the series. And I would have liked that because you would have got whole things different. But um, I also like that they kept it because you, uh, once she obtains that goal... It's going to be different now uh, for her and her friends. I think she'd be a bit busier with doing Wonderbolt stuff and such like that. But we won't find out until later and on. On the same coin, I guess you could say, what does this, what does this um, say about yeah. actually becoming a Wonderbolt? Now, here's the thing. When you think about... Rainbow Dash as a weather pony, what would be... What would change... If all of a sudden she became a Wonderbolt and pretty much made that a career change. So instead of being a weather pony, she'd be a Wonderbolt. How would that change the story at all? You know, you got fanfics that'll say, well, she would be too busy practicing with the Wonderbolts to spend time with her friends. That's not necessarily true. She still spends plenty of time practicing to become a Wonderbolt. So instead of that practice time, you know, trying to train for the Wonderbolts, she would actually be practicing with the Wonderbolts. And so I don't think it would change the yeah. show but, yeah. enough to make a difference. I think they could make her a Wonderbolt and keep the show running. You know, it doesn't have to be like a season, a series finale thing, like. Possibly the Cutie Mark Crusaders getting their Cutie Marks. I would see that happening towards the end of the series. But... 
Oh, and God. they make a whole new spin-off series, in which I can see for the Cutie Mark Crusaders. Anyway, what yeah, I, yeah. But, but, you I know, that's, that's, that's that. just but my thought, on. is that if she ever did become a Wonderbolt, that doesn't necessarily change the story enough to make that big of a difference with the character. Yeah. Um... I believe that about does it for this entire. What did you think about the uh, location of the Wonderful Academy? It, it, it's apparently on this big, on a giant platform in the middle of nowhere. Where the makes hell me this wonder is what because kind of I mean it's way has. up I mean, in the clouds and it's just this small little column. I think the uh, the the review on Equestria Daily um, equated it to the. Uh, Huge mountain in Skyrim, the 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 uh, the big mountain at the center of of Skyrim. I I don't know. I don't play Skyrim. It could be, but also it could be a part of the Canterlot mountain range because Canterlot's right next to a few, and then maybe one of the mountains extends higher, and the Wonderful Academy could be there. I mean, Cloudsdale is closer to well, and Canterlot according to geography, mm-hmm. I believe. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure if they because uh, I, I, I can't. I can't it's see it in my in my head right now, but I'm wondering if the mountain that Canterlot is on, you know, because it, it sticks out of the side of the mountain. I'm wondering if the top of that mountain is where this is. We will never know until they dot out for us. Anywho, um, I really think that's just ran a giant plat- Pegasi in the year in two thousand years earlier. Hey, look, I found a giant platform we can practice flying I'm on. wondering why they need a runway. And thus, I mean, Pegasus, I really don't need a runway, right? Born. Well, it depends. I mean, you can be coming in for... Uh, <laughs> and no, they don't. <laughs> they, they really don't. It's more for added effects. But I suppose if you're coming in fast enough, you can't just fly straight down. It is similar with aerodynamics. I mean, if you're coming down at 100 miles an hour, you still need some way to slow down. Why not use a runway to slow down and land on? Plus, it looks nice. having Instead of just having a giant platform in the middle of nowhere, let's paint a road on it. Yeah, that sounds nice. What are we going to do with it? Use it as a runway. A what? You know what we're going to do. We're going to run and then jump off the mountain. Are you insane? We have wings, you idiot. Oh, okay. And then we're going to take off. That sounds extreme, but why across the whole thing? Well, but you can use the other side for landing on. Really? Landing? Yeah. I think it'll work. What do you think? I think that'll actually catch on. I think we have one of those in Cloudsdale. Really? I had no idea. Anyway, um, one more Sorry, thing. just having a conversation with myself. Cutie so, Marks. We have to talk about Cutie Marks because Spitfire finally has a canon Cutie Mark. This is the first time we've ever seen her without her Wonderbolt uniform on and her general uniform or whatever you want to call that uh, does not cover her cutie mark in this episode so we're finally able to see it. What is it? It it actually kind of looks like a bird made of fire. Not necessarily a phoenix because we've seen those before but a bird made completely out of fire. Um... And, and hey, I don't know, yep. uh, did you catch... Oh, okay, um, Lightning Dust is a lightning bolt with three stars at the bottom of it. So that one's interesting as well. I like her cutie mark. But also, I wanted to know, on the machine for the Dizitron, they had the turtle, <laughs> the bunny, and then they had a skull with electricity and wings. I love that, and I want to. I'm actually going to draw that. I I'm bored enough that I want to go and draw that. Not it is enough, it is I rather draw a dramatic of a change from turtle to bunny to style. wonderful death skull. Yeah. But it's also interesting because Spider's Cutie Mark changed so much since the fans. You know, thought thought of what it was in the original episodes because you had the lightning bolt with the flames on it, right? Yeah, you know, I. But now it's not, um, but now I'm it's different from that pleased. one. So I mean, I I liked the the lightning bolt that was on fire for Spitfire for her cutie mark, but it was a lot like Grimo Dashes. 
And this one makes it a little bit more unique, and it's still pretty freaking awesome. Yes, it is. It really is. Eh, kind of. Which I actually, mean, now that I'm looking at her cutie mark, it doesn't necessarily look like Yeah, her. I mean, the, the biggest deal uh, is that it's bit, fire. A little bit, but mostly <laughs> it's just fire. Now, one thing um, I want to talk about Which as is well cool is still. the uh, the voice. We've mentioned how it's different, um, how it sounds different, and we talked about the voice actor. But what did you think about it? Did you like it? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. It sounded odd, personally, for the type of character that she was portraying. The voice and the type of character I, really. It, it didn't go well for me. I, I didn't like how it put sounded. Put it this way um, I liked the other voice better. Um, now, when you think about it, it is the same voice actor. Yeah. So, you, you, you think, I don't where think else have we seen her? Where she actually talks. She talked actress. in Hurricane Fluttershy, and she talked in Best Night Ever, and, and a little bit in... Hurricane um, Fluttershy? Uh, the, uh... Well, never mind, that, that was that was a different voice actor. Um, so, yeah. She talked in Best Night Ever, and she talked in Rain Hurricane Boom? Fluttershy briefly. This one, she's actually... Uh, doing a role that is supposed yep. to be dominant. It's supposed to be um, a, a general type character that's supposed to be kind of gruff. It might just be the facade that she puts on that's making her voice different, whereas if she's at something like the gala for Best Night Ever, she'd have a little bit more of a easier, softer tone to her voice. At the gala. So it... it that could be the reason that it sounded different is just because mm. the act that she was putting on, it was a different role mm-hmm. for her. Therefore, it was just a different way to take her voice. Yeah. Um, overall, though, a very good episode. One of my favorites of this season. Very well done. I love the story. I love the antagonist. Um, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, you know what? 10. Mostly because I'm it's just going to give it a 10. Voice. Because, a because I because I can safely say that at least How dare for season you? How 3, dare if you? not the entire series, this is this is the best episode. In, in my opinion. So, I mean, I, so I'm going to give it a 10. In his opinion. Not for Spitfire, opinions. for Rainbow Dash, for the antagonist, for the story, just yes. All of my yes. All of my yes. Anywho, that oh, does it we're for not the done episode yet. review. We have to go we'll on sorry for each and every talk about the rest of us. the podcast. <clears throat> so let's go on with some news. I know. Um... Might as well start with the yes. topic at hand. Um, episode 8 is coming out. However, there's been a little bit of confusion as to what exactly episode Ooh. 8 pertains to. Because if you look at the uh, the, the episode guide on a Equestria Daily... Right. It's, it's, it's stating Daily, episode 8 which is the episode as guide on to be to it. announced. There's no title. There's no air date. There's no information about Episode 8 whatsoever. What they're doing instead is that they're saying Episode 9, Apple Family Reunion, is going to be this weekend instead. So... Yep. But it's now a lot of people are asking, is Episode 9 Episode 8? Is Apple Family Reunion actually the Episode 8? Well, we don't know. Because we're quite stumbled by this too. Because looking at Zap to it, it says it's episode nine. Looking at TV.com, it says it's episode eight. So it's really a matter of I have no idea what the heck is going on. Let's just sit down and wait for the episode to come out Saturday <laughs> and enjoy Pony. Sit down with your popcorn, your children, your wife, if you're married. But I don't know why you'd be listening to now, us. Now here's the thing so, that I was thinking of is um, that if episode yeah. eight. 
Um, it could happen to be um, a episode similar to what they did with Hearth Swarming Eve. Hearth Swarming Eve during uh, season two was actually played out of order. Um, and they, they they wanted to get it as close to Christmas as possible. So I can't remember exactly if they played it early or if they played it late, but that episode was played out of order originally because they wanted it to be a Christmas episode. Yes, but this now begs me to question episode 8. Because if it is a special, it's definitely not a Christmas special. Because Apple Family Reunion is being played on the 22nd, according to almost every single site. And Spygate Service is being played the week after that, which is December 29th. True. In between there, we're not getting a Christmas special from these two at all. Unless, you know, episode 10 is... Unless they somehow, maybe... Often re- Seriously, re- doubt it. It's a hard for me, because I, maybe the family... I, I'm just thinking of it as if, if, if it's together. supposed to be around the... But, the same time as the like other fa- said, Apple we family were, reunion, that means thinking, it would be right around the summer sun celebration. If they do it the same time every year, which I don't know if they do or not. Yep. I don't think they do. But, um... Yeah, I, so we have no idea what is going on with episode 8. But, for now, we're going to go ahead and go on to some news on the question daily. And forget about episode 8 for now. We worry about that on Saturday when we all watch it. And then our episode review I won't. the following day or two after that. Don't ask why I'm talking like this. Good. So, um, some news on the question daily. There is a charity shirt with the Lost Pegasus Unicorn and from Amy Keaton Rogers. So there's a charity going on there. New story, The Element <laughs> of Excess, which uh, I the almost read as The Element That's of Success. That's pretty cool, success, as, you know, uh, uh, has been Discord updated to uh, include a couple of things. First of all, January 12th has been confirmed as the uh, release date for the digital uh, version. The uh, Blu-rays will be coming out in February. I'm not sure how much it's supposed to cost, though. If it costs anything... Uh, I'm not 100% sure what they're doing with, with the uh, price of this documentary. Um, the name is set in stone, and it's going to be called Bronies, the Extremely Unexpected no Adult Fans of My Little Pony. Not sure why they went with such a ridiculously long name, but um, yeah. That is a mouthful. There's also been a uh, sneak peek slash trailer that has been released. Um I'm actually going to... I Actually, no, I did look at that. That's right. I, I checked that out, and actually, uh, it, it it makes me want to um, see it. Because, I mean, you can tell... Um, I, it, it brings me back to the auditions that they had for it, where they said, well, if you have a story such as this, this, and this, and they listed off a different, you know, different scenarios or whatever, it, it, it'd be interesting to see how some people have... Um, bonded or, or or have changed because of this fandom, and of course, you know, I want to hear the opinions right? on uh, on Bronies from people like Tara Strong and um, Lauren Faust, and, and you know, yeah, so it'd be really cool. Um, and also, Stuff it like looks that. like it's uh, apparently. Yes. They're, they're trying so to get expect some sort of update from that and eventually. Netflix and other stuff like that. If it's on Netflix, that'd be really cool because then I don't even need to buy it, huh? Yeah, I would love that. That would be that would be, that'd be absolutely great if it was on Netflix. Awesome. And, that'd be great uh, if it was on. Here's Netflix. an interesting thing: is that Tara Strong is recording an original song for the credits. Does that mean it's Twilight Sparkle singing? No. Well, the, the, she is. Twilight. I mean, uh, is, she sing- no. it, is she singing as is Twilight? Singing. Is what I'm is what I'm thinking. No, she's Bubbles and Timmy Turner. The, the, it's a rhetorical question. I wasn't actually. Well, I have for- no idea. Yes, we'll find out. I am. You're a rhetorical question. 
<laughs> I like I like how you a- asked yourself the own question. All right, so we got more shirts and scarves from We Love Fine. If you love We Love Fine, which I do like We Love Fine, but I don't have money for We Love Fine, so go to We Love Fine for more stuff from We Love Fine about ponies. We got a bunch of story updates. I don't know what they are. There's links, though, that you can yeah, go they, to a question they this, uh, There is an artist training back. ground going um, on right now as for well. For about a month. I'm not call. exactly sure how long this one's going for, but... Uh, they're doing just a whole bunch of uh, uh, episode pictures. So if you want to draw stuff from Wonderbolt Academy, they've got that going on right now. Indeed. There is some new stuff with desktop ponies for those of you who have them, which I was what one is of it? them. I had this for what a long it? time, and it's still on my desktop, it's actually, desktop and for... I don't use it. No. But, yeah, it's still on my desktop. Oh, desktop that's ponies. awesome. You don't know what it is. I didn't know It basically know about has that. 8-bit sprites of ponies walking around your computers. No. You didn't know about that's this. That's awesome. I thought I told you about this when I had it months and months ago. Yeah, this came out earlier this <laughs> year, actually, around the... A bit before summer this came out, I believe. And, yeah, it was very interesting. So, it's been a long time, but they have updated a lot. They've added so many more characters to this. Um, I believe some new animations with the characters as well. Um, the Crystal the crystal Empire stuff is there. The Chrysalis, Chrysalis is there. Some of the changelings are there. Basically, you simply hmm. go to their it doesn't matter. sites. I don't have Mac, so you can download it. I do not know if it is for Mac, though. Yep, right here. It is said um, due to not having Windows. Mm, well, we now have it up and running on for Mac and Unix. So they do not have it for Windows yet. The um, new update. Here's the thing. The old update they do. Oh, there's more. I have Mac, so I'm going to go down that later. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more. We also still have it easy to add your own pony to the program and edit existing ones with our built-in pony editor. You can add MP3s to make them talk and create interactions between them, like talking to each other or <laughs> yeah, dancing together. Yeah, it does. Together. It does sound awesome. Which sounds awesome. Uh, so th- for those of you who love adorable ponies running around and invading your <laughs> screen like I did a long time ago, then my dad asked, what the hell is that? It was hilarious, but you can go ahead and get that. Mac and Unix right now, PC. So here's oh, something PC. interesting. Yeah, well, actually, Megan yeah, McCarthy was on PC Twitter and happened to mention she that she eight. switched her cable company over so that she can actually get the hub network and watch it and mentioned that it'll be just in time to hear a certain... My Little Pony characters sing this Saturday. Now, first of all, song confirmed for this next for, for this next episode. That sounds great. Um, it's Spike, secondly, I know it. She added at the very end, "Yeehaw," which will pretty much just it. it no, it sounded Wait, like Applejack is finally going to get a song. There are a lot of people that have been oh. waiting for this. I mean, Applejack sings parts for certain songs, like at the gala, stuff like that. I want her to actually have a real song all to herself. And this sounds like it's going to be the episode at where we finally gala. get that. I mean, it makes sense, right? Being that it's uh, and it, it, it's a... Uh, Ashley no. Ball that does the the voice for her and she's the only singer you know she's she's actually in a band Hey Ocean if you haven't seen that because her her band's awesome but anyway she's actually a singer in a band hey so Ocean. it would make sense that you give her character a lot of singing to do and she just hasn't had it up till now so been waiting for this for a while I'm interested to see exactly uh, how it goes and and if it's better than Bab Seed. Exactly. AJ's going to sing. This is going to be great because it's... it's it, I, oh my gosh, I have to... Okay, I'm going to read this comment on Archer Daily regardless of what Lightning thinks. I'm just going to... Since I'm recording, I can do that. 
Swing your partner round and round. Aja will work till she hits the ground. Grab your partner by the hand. Aja will make the reunion grand. Down by the barnyard swinging on the gate. Come on, Aja, don't be late. Down, eh, dog in the corner going on bone. Gone, non. Oh, non. Non. Ha, I'm funny. Aja not done till the cows come home. Crack the whip and jerk that line. We all know Aja's gonna have a good time. Well, Grab your that partner, do si do. I hope she, this song doesn't blow. Anyways, I screwed that up a lot. <laughs> wow, that was a wow. interesting. There's a song below it too. Applejack, 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 blah 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 blah, blah, blah and so on and so on. <laughs> yes. Anyway. anyway, so lots of people are that speculating the on the song. Anyways, apparently. but yes, God, no, absolutely not. Horrible. Yes. Horrible idea. Watch it be like How Granny Smith sing. That'd be gr- that'd be great. Yes. Yes. I love the idea. Someone please go and make something of Granny Smith singing. I want yeah. to hear Granny Smith anyway. sing. Galicon! If this was Muffin um, Productions, people would do that. 2013. They Come are up. actually fo- looking for looking for volunteers now. Yeah, because you're going to go well, over to British. Europe and to become a volunteer at Galicon. <gasps> I am so I'm not even sure where it's going to be. Um, It's over in Europe, but I'm not... Where was it? Where uh-huh. was it this year? I'm not even sure where Galicon was this year. In Europe. Yeah, well, I mean, Galicon was big, and I, uh, but I'm I not sure where they're supposed to be. Um, but or let's Mr. see. They're looking for guards uh, assisting the guests and making sure everyone is doing all right. They keep an eye on everything and step in when absolutely necessary. They also need some receptionists. Um, it's the first stop for our guests when they arrive, and they everything revolving revolving around the tickets and arrival is handled. They need documentation as well, covering all the aspects of the convention by taking photos, videos, or writing text for blogs and news sites. The, the, yeah, you said all aspects. aspects. That's, that's what I meant to say. You said aspects. <laughs> I know. I, I just, I, I don't know. I'm trying to I, I Anyways, think that's about it. I was moving just on. to see if I can find out when Galicon was supposed news? to be. If I'm not mistaken, Galicon was supposed to be, like, um, doing it this spring. Like, they were, they were, it was going to be, like, way early or something like that. But I can't. Okay. What comic is it? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm, I'm reading this comic. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's um Dizatron failure. Light yeah, it's lightning. He does ma'am, can you oh, I said ma'am in a country accent. Can you put the Dizatron on maximum speed? I wanna push my limits. Okay, you asked for it. Then the epic picture with the skulls, wings and electricity came. It's spinning. Release and then lightning um does <laughs> flies head first into the yeah, ground below. I can see that. You know what? By the way, just her name was awesome because it's lightning, and that's that's yes. me. That is my name, except minus the dust. And dust. That's not even a and name. That's, that's your that's name. Letters. You made it a Mine's name. Mine's better. Mine's A R. Ha. Yes. It's a name. It's a name. Yes, I made it, in which everyone calls A R now. Indeed, it Anywho, does. We'll see you all that next about week. does it for uh, this we'll episode doing of the Lightning of, Round. Uh, apparently, the Apple Farm reunion because that's apparently what's li- yes. li- what's listed as going to be on this weekend. So, episode eight. Yeah, we'll find out then. So we'll uh, do that, and we'll see you next we time. We will find out.